A newborn is unable to differentiate between night and day, so it may take a few weeks or even months for your baby to adapt to sleeping when the household sleeps. A newborn will average six to eight periods of sleep within 24 hours. That is, your baby will sleep between 12 to 20 hours in a 24-hour period. As they grow, babies need less sleep. From zero to six months, a baby will continue to need one feeding during the night. By three or four months, some babies may begin to sleep through the night. Sleeping through the night is defined as a baby who sleeps for four or five hours, uninterrupted, through the night. By six months of age, babies have established their own sleeping patterns. A newborn should sleep on a surface that's flat and firm. Avoid mattresses that are soft and supple. The baby's crib should be free of any extra materials, so eliminate bumper pads, pillows, comforters, toys, and stuffed animals from the crib. All of these could interfere with proper air circulation. Also, ensure all plastic coverings have been removed from the mattress. These could be a choking or suffocation hazard. The most recent research suggests babies be put to sleep on their backs. Studies show babies who sleep on their backs are not more likely to choke. Always place your baby on his back to sleep. Ensure your baby's crib contains a firm mattress and tight-fitting crib sheet only. Nothing else should be placed inside the crib. Keep your baby's room dark, quiet, and at a relatively cool temperature, between 18 and 20 degrees. Establish a calming bedtime routine that is consistent and predictable. Never leave a bottle or juice inside baby's crib. Try to keep nap times and bedtimes the same even on weekends. Allow your baby to fall asleep on his own so he can learn to comfort himself. The cause of sudden infant death syndrome is unknown. SIDS, or crib death, is the death during sleep of an otherwise healthy infant under 12 months of age. Research has shown a link between SIDS and babies who sleep on their stomachs. Sudden infant death, by definition, is a baby who has been found dead in her or his crib or bed where there are no medical causes to explain that sudden death. Infants should always sleep on their backs in a crib that meets Canadian government safety standards. It's a good idea to place your baby on his or her stomach for a few minutes while they're awake. This allows them to build their neck muscles and also gets them used to knowing what to do when they're lying on their stomachs. Your baby will require her first checkup within the first two weeks after birth. The pediatrician will want to ensure your infant is growing and developing at a normal pace. It's a good idea to write down a list of questions to ask the doctor and take the list with you to the appointment. Also, the baby's first checkup is a good time to schedule her upcoming vaccinations, which begin at two months of age. First of all, I'll start by looking at the eyes to make sure that I can see that the what we call a red reflex is present which shows that the light is going all the way through to the retina which is the stimulus for the brain to receive the image so she's got good red reflex which is what we want to see so that's good and then while she's still quiet and while I have her attention I'm just going to make sure that the heart and lungs are clear so stay where you are there we go so on this side, I'm just going to make sure that the liver is not enlarged and that the kidneys are normal in size too. So that feels normal. The first checkup of the baby usually occurs somewhere around a week to 10 days after birth. That being because the hospital stays are quite short now. So that our concern is primarily to make sure the baby's weight gain is adequate. That's the first and most the major focus of the first visit, but it's also to get an idea of how parents are coping, especially if it's their first, and what kind of issues are really on the back of their agenda so that we can abort any potential anxiety-producing situation that will uh, eventually make them have a difficult time with their baby.